the greatest. Love and respect to all of my viewers, all of my subscribers. Emerge Vlog Day once again with another hot and interesting topic. And remember our motto is, we are the greatest. So if you want to be a part of the greatness, just subscribe and be a part of the team. Also like, share and comment on our content. So today we want to talk about Bob Marley and Vibes Cartel. Now recently, let me post a YouTube shorts where when Cartel had the lecture up at university and he made not make a comparison with his music and Bob Marley music and he was saying that see more Bob Marley music was ridiculed really cool and was shoved aside by society or by high society I see more same thing theme music and dance hall in general I got through at the time when I did the lecture and he was saying that it soon be acceptable dance hall music soon be acceptable same like the reggae because them only start accept reggae music when it went overseas or Bob Marley music when it went overseas and the white people them start accept it. So basically, they said them import back the music in Jamaica and start accept it. And they also said Bob Marley has become the poster boy for the Jamaica tourist board and the motor airport to the big spliff in and whatever. So we want to talk about the similarities between um, both artists' impact or if, there's, if there is a similarity. So we want you know, participation in the comment section. So Bob Marley came up in a day. Wow. In the early stage of my career, I'm doing music with people that call rebellious music. He have some things where I say in my music, like he say, I want to turn up him stereo, he want to disturb his neighbor. It was, and he did a hit out on the social injustice, political injustice. He did a look out on a lot of things. Before, after him come out of the scare genre, because you know, Bob Marley used to do some scare song. Some of the scare songs that Bob Marley do later on in my life, me even know say, a Bob Marley songs like Sima Dung and them songs. Bob Marley and the Wheelers, you see me? So, after that, as I say, I'm up in the reggae and him start it out by the system. So, Vibes Cartel was making the comparison and say, same like how them not like the reggae, the dance and music, because dance and music is sexually explicit and you know, violence or whatever it entails. So, you must say them are going to accept it after a while. So, I want to tell me in the comment section if you think Cartel was making a good point or was making a bad point. Because I think there's a difference between um, opposing social injustice and political injustice as opposed to um, bringing cross sexually explicit music and violent, quote unquote, violent music. Well, Bob Marley music don't really entail a lot of violence because one of the only things where them can specify is like two things where Bob Marley say in a two separate song. And the songs them never really based on no violence or nothing. The song where him say him feel like bombing a church and the next one where him say him shot the sheriff. Them songs they never really based on no um, uh, violence per se, but people always make reference to them thing there. In a Bob Marley music, and I say Bob Marley sing violent or whatever too, but that wasn't the core of the song, and that wasn't the, the main theme of the song. We you know vibes called tell them have. I mean, what the guys are fans them, we come out all guns blazing and run away, but we you know, so, um, speak what is there, you know, you can't oppose objective truth. But uh, cartel songs them, a lot of songs with vibes cartel do. The core purpose of it is for bring across a certain thing like a sexually explicit song and I like say, say one thing in you know, the song where sexual the whole most of the songs and bar, bars bar, bars is always sex 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 or whatever and in you know, the violence song them see the core theme of the song ah violence 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 and him say he is singing about what is in the society and his music is a reflection of the society or whatever we can understand that but I'm not going to share most of my personal views towards that. You can tell me in the comment section. I think it's a fair comparison for me and for me as it relates to Bob Marley and Vibes Cartel. Um, we know them, they, they set out on a different path. They set out with a different goal in mind. I'm not sure what Vibes Cartel's goal was. Um, in the same thing we've seen as a society. But Bob Marley's goal was, as mentioned earlier, was to oppose sex, um, <laughs> was to oppose social injustice, political thing. We see where Bob Marley, um, at one point, in bring, in bring, in bring together the two political parties, Michael Manley and Edward Siago, in bring both of them on a stage. And I think they, they have different goals. I think Bob Marley and Vibes Cartel have different goals. So you can tell me what you think about it in the comment section. You think it's a fair comparison? You think in the future, Vibes Cartel music and dance in general will be acceptable by the social upper class or by the um, the upper class, the upper echelons of society, you think it's just a matter of time that them start accept dance music, or dance music will always be a quote unquote ghetto music, or 
downtown music would always be um, acceptable by only certain people in a certain um, sectors of society. I'm sure you know we have uptown people. You have uptown people like Five Scott and music, especially younger folks. But we know we not really see it acceptable in general in a them circle there. For now at least. So we know cultures change over time and certain things that was not acceptable a um, few years ago, like even the marijuana thing. We see where they matter about medicinal marijuana. Even last night I watched on the news and the Prime Minister I say yo um if they have an issue with them importing ganja from Canada. We never know say them thing they could have been headline at one point, but I you know them thing they used to be pushed aside by the upper echelon of society. So maybe the same thing can come to dance and music in the future. Who knows? You know, probably dance and music become so viable overseas that them them people are out here cannot resist but they accept it, you know. But as I say, I just see it, my views and I just ask for the, 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 the um, participants or the persons who are watching this video for giving me them views and them opinion as it relates to this topic. You think it's a fair comparison to make with Vibes God and Bob Marley? You think it's an unfair comparison? You think which one of the artists I feel like is more impactful on the society? You think Vibes God is more impactful than Bob Marley? Or you think Bob Marley is more impactful? Tell me what you think about it in the comment section. You see me? Yeah, so usually on a Sunday, I put out a top five, but I put out a top five earlier this week, and I never really want to put out a next top five today. So I don't like to so change up the schedule or not. But I'm kind of excited to put out the top five. When I put out earlier, I was a top five entertainers at Serpy from Politics Watch mentioned. You can go check out a video there. So uh, we do the top five from another week. So usually on a Sunday, we do a top five. But today we change up the thing, isn't it? And I like to so we change up the schedule. Next week, we are going to come up back with the next top five on the Sunday. But we just do the Bob Marley and Cartel comparison today. As I say, you can tell me what you think about this in the comment section. But let's keep the conversation going. As I say, the YouTube shots I put up, it gone over 170 had um, views last time I checked it and it was a lecture that Vice Carter did at the university and he was making the comparison with Bob Marley music and how it used to be shoved aside by society as I said earlier and he was saying that dance hall in the future are going to be as, as acceptable or yeah as acceptable as reggae is now today because when it go overseas and the overseas people them accept it um, the society out here now I have no choice than to accept the dance and music. So let's see how it go. Them say time will tell you know, time of the master. So hopefully we'll live long enough to see um it's acceptable out here or whatever. Or if we're gonna see vibes called till the world comes to pass, let us see. So as I say you can tell me what you think about this topic in the comment section and as usual emerge vlog. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and remember we are the greatest. And if you want to be a part of the greatness, you have no option than to subscribe. Be a part of the greatness. You see me? So, for now, emerge vlog. I'm out.